All right, so we're back for part two of the backpack review. This is my parents' dishwasher, where the backpack currently is. We're gonna get through on a rinse cycle. Uh, because I want to waste as little water as possible. Here's the backpack. Until it's wet. I'll take it outside. It's about a billion degrees because it's Georgia and it's disgusting. Okay, yeah, I ran it with uh, all the zippers closed, so, damn, okay, so the, like, felt compartment where you put the laptop is actually completely dry, despite having, you know, gone through the dishwasher, you can, a little bit, it's soaked through on the back, you can kind of see, but the front part is completely dry, the bottom part's dry, uh, so that's actually pretty impressive, so it will, I think, protect your backpack from the, or protect your laptop from the rain. I know some people worried about, uh, inside, um, it's soaked through on the front a little bit, but even then, the inside of the compartment's pretty dry still, uh, so I think the verdict is that it actually is legitimately waterproof, uh, no idea how long it's gonna take to dry, uh, and, you know, the fact that it's going to dry however long it does is presumably dependent on the fact that it's, you know, godforsakenly hot out here, so... I'll let you know in the post how long it takes once I know or I'll tweet it out. So, all right, thanks for sticking around for the testing of the Samsonite Tectonic. Oh, you can see the water. That's nice. With the Samsonite Tectonic backpack.